It's time for the Common Sense Diva. Common Sense Diva. Hey everybody, it's your girl Jane B, aka the Common Sense Diva, and I'm super, super, super excited, and I'm always excited to come to you and talk to you about some common sense, and in this case, it's all about healing yourself. So this video is all about things or a thing that happened to me during this keto lifestyle transition that no one told me about and I was not aware about until it actually happened. So let me just start off by saying, y'all see all this glowy skin? You see all this fabulousness, you see all this smoothness, you see all this rich melanin. Well, when I first started keto, it was not there. And I'm going to have pictures posted throughout this whole video so you can see exactly what I was dealing with. So, hold on, let me give y'all hairography. So anyway, what happened was I started my journey. You could go and look back at my um, video about how I was able to reverse my uh, diabetes diagnosis. But on that video, I talked about how I started on November 6th. So I started November 6th, 2019. All was well. I started intermittent fasting. I started, you know, just eating low carbs. And then by the end of November, I would say around Christmas time, it happened. So you may be saying, what happened to you? Well, what happened to me was my body began to detox itself, okay? Because once you take all the toxins out of your body, once you take all the sugars and the, the unnecessary chemicals out your body and you decide to eat clean, your body is going to show you what it's doing. Now, keep in mind, I've always been prone to eczema, two breakouts, two, like it would be seasonal. I would just itch all over and then it would go away and you know, different levels of it, but sometimes not as bad as others, but I would just always suffer from a little bit of that. But with this keto um, diet and with this keto lifestyle, what happened was it was Thanksgiving. And I remember I was at this little farm, not the farmer's market, but holiday market in the city. And I just remember buying this soap, you know, this soap that I love and it smelled so good. And I just remember at that time of buying the soap, like how you start to feel like a little, like a little itch. Cause it was very clear to me at that moment is when I started to feel it. Didn't pay much attention to it because like I told you, I would get eczema. So it is what it is. But child, after a while, I would say maybe a few days later, first it started on my neck. My neck had the, the, the rash, the, the ghastly rash on my neck. Then it started on my chest. Then it went down my arms. Then it went down my legs. And when I tell you I look like I had some kind of disease, I look like what's going on with me, no one told me about the keto rash. And the keto rash is basically, in, in layman's plain terms, it's like your skin taking a crap on your body because the rate and the rate at the fast rate that it's it's doing it that it's um getting rid of the toxins is almost like your body and your skin can't catch up so as a result i was like had nights of itching and scratching and to the point where I didn't even think my skin was going to ever heal. I didn't think it was going to ever come back to normal. And I was like, this is terrible. But the thing is, I remembered because I had detox one other time. It wasn't a lifestyle. It was just like a one-time thing. And the same thing happened at that time. And so I was like, okay, so because of that, I wasn't really shocked that this could happen. So anyway, it happened. And I mean, my body was wrecked, but it was key places. It was the chest area, the neck area, the arms, the outside of the arms, and the the front part of my thighs. And um, so I was just like, I remember that it's just your skin taking a crap. It's just your skin taking a crap. And once everything catches up, then your skin will go back to normal. So I'd be praying. I said, in the Lord, universe, God, Buddha, everybody, I said, I need my skin to be fabulous because I've always had like nice skin, but... After this experience, I was like, no, 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 this cannot be for naught. I cannot be going through all of this, drinking all this water, eating right like this, and my skin look a mess. So after a while, like, you know, I just really put it out there, just trusting that my body would come back to normal. And thank God it did. So, y'all. Hey, everybody. So, this is an update on my skin. It's getting better. As you know, I got the keto rash, like, when I broke out from all the detoxing. And remember my chest, how what it looked like earlier, and my arms? See how it's clearing up? I mean, I still have the marks, but they're going away. They're much lighter if you remember them before. And also, I'm going to show you my legs. So here are my legs. And if you remember, this was much darker, and it was a lot of raised bumps. So actually, it's smoothed out now. So now I'm just waiting for 
the marks to clear up. I saw y'all see this top I have on. First of all, let me talk about the top that I have on. Yes, yeah, so I made this top, guys. So this is the top. It has the um, arms that are separate, and it's just a like a um, square piece. It comes like right beneath my navel. And I just want y'all to see my skin because I'm gonna be inserting videos about how my skin was wrecked and ravaged. And now look, it is clean, it is smooth. This top, so just in case if y'all didn't know, I sewed, yes, I sew, I've been sewing for years. And I had another top like this, but because I like showing my shoulders so much, hold on, let me fling my hair a little bit. Because I like showing my shoulders so much, I was like, you know what? I am going to make a top like it. So I just basically copied that top. And I made this top, so it's like African Ankara print, and there's two different prints mixed up into one. See, it's this print, and then it's this print, and it's just giving me festivity. It's giving me festive look. It's making me feel good. I feel nice and fishy. My shoulders are out, shimmy, 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 and all that good stuff. I feel amazing, and I feel super confident because my skin did clear up over time. So what I'm here to tell you, and I hope you guys can hear me. Hold on, let me move closer to the mic. What I'm here to tell you is that you, uh, if you are on this journey, if you're on this uh, keto life journey, everyone's different, everyone's skin reacts different, but if you should get the keto rash, it's gonna itch, it's going to be a mess for a little while, just keep doing what you're doing, keep drinking your water, keep, um, keep drinking your water, keep um you know yourself hydrated keep the uh toxins low keep the uh carbs low keep the sugars low the added sugars low and you will get through it and your skin will come back to where it been and of course because you know it's summertime right now so i was able to get a tan and you know this tan the glow up it really helps in the healing process for my skin so yeah i just want you guys to just look over what i've done look over the pictures i posted everything that i talk about as far as the changes in me and now you can see the change and i'm loving it hold on i'm loving it yes so this is jane b aka the comments and steve if you like what you see i want you to rate not rate we don't rate anymore i just need you to comment i need you to throw a thumbs up and i need you to subscribe to this channel so you can get the content about healing yourself things you can expect things to eat and all the things that will maintain a healthy healthy lifestyle so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and until the next time bye